Welcome back to The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. It feels really great to know that you are with us, so you just joined right here. We have Chris Kate Wandu, who is on standby. He joins us this morning uh, right here in Lagos via Zoom. Chris, it's good to have you join us. Happy Independence Anniversary, my people. <laughs> Many uh, should we say happy, happy, happy 1st October in areas? <laughs> Yes, so it is. People are looking so sharp this morning. What's yeah. the secret? Mr. Wandu, were, were, were you ever dependent? Because um, if you're wishing me independence, <laughs> I, it means I was dependent. dependent. And too. I was never dependent. <laughs> Na, neither was Nigeria. So, <laughs> yes, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, then. Let's start off with the Punch much. newspaper. Uh, that would be uh, the first uh, point of call for us. On the Punch, PDP crisis, BOT convenes emergency meeting to rescue articles campaign. That really sounds very interesting. Rescue mission right there. Underneath party board meeting or meets this week as uh, pressure mounts on PDP chair to throw in the towel. Oh no. We can't go into polls divided. We'll make needed sacrifice to move forward. That's what the BOT member is saying. And Wabara led reconciliation panel meet Atiku ahead of Tuesday in Port Harcourt's meeting with Wike. So there's a lot that's going on. It's more like a rescue mission. Let's see if the superhero will come, you know, through right there. Debt servicing on Nigeria's euro bond increases by 86%. And consumer gets 1.12 trillion bill, trillion naira bill, uh, pay 775 billion naira amid blackouts. Over 400 fleeing Kujay inmates still at large, really. And scientists who extracted DNA from 4,000 uh, year old bronze win the Nobel Prize. Campaign Buhari Tunubu Shatima's wife receive appointment later, letters, appointment letters. That's what you find. Buhari Tinubu Shatima's wife received appointment letters. For what? Uh, I'm sure it's one thing you want to find out. NDLE boss billionaire drug baron and recovers mansion and seizes eight billionaire tramadol. I mean, that's the worth of it. Well, that's the much we can take this morning for the want of time. All right, let's quickly go to The Guardian. Um, I see the paper is also going with the PDP story. Uh, PDP may seed Senate President to Southwest SGF to Southeast. Uh, it says, uh, it's a ticket's turn. Yoruba should not be selfish, says, says, uh, says Adebutu. PDP rally support for Atiku blasts Tinubu over fitness video. Uh, Tinubu not on official, on medical trip, APC chieftain. APC Northeast content with vice presidency. Can't produce next president. Kwankwa so contesting to win, not stepping down for any candidate. NNPP insists. Uh, Ex PDP BOT chair urges party leaders, uh, stakeholders to unite in rescue Nigeria. So it seems that the PDP is a major party, I think, that has this campaign already on. APC, we've not seen anything yet. Uh, they're yet to form their campaign council. Uh, and uh, they, they, they have were postponed, yeah. So I'm sure Chris Kennedy wanted to speak to this. Right now, on major stations, only Atiku's campaign um, advertisement are you hearing. You understand? Though some of the, the Labour Party guys are paying, sponsoring some of the ads on, online, on YouTube and all that. Um, maybe that's a sign of things to come. More from The Guardian. Bepu alleges uh, two headers lynched in Birnin Gwari are terrorists from Sudan. A cargo trapped at the Papa Tinkan port says truckers threatened to shut operations uh, we have more from The Guardian. Disgraceful defeat awaits Akbabu, Don Etiabet wants. He's still around, in case you're wondering. Sarki missing as uh, Buhari lists Lawan Bajabia Mila, CJ and Okonje Wiala music stars uh, for national honors. There's a, a newspaper, uh, there's a journalist in there as well. Nance kicks against conferment of national honor on education minister Adamu um, Mbaka to spend time in solitude and not sacked from Adoration Ministry, says Catholic Church. The church had to come out to clarify those newspaper reports that he had been sacked. Um, sometimes these newspapers leave a lot to be desired. That's it from The Guardian for now. 
Away from The Guardian, we have this day newspaper, and boldly on the this day, Rivers APC to APC governors visiting WK and embarrassment to a party. Really, uh, that's what you find there. I think I find the headlines this morning quite interesting. Threatens to take matters into its own hands if national leadership fails to do something. There's a rider underneath, and again, you find another bold one. 2023 IU. Shakarao Haruna orders rally support for Atiku. And uh, Aliyu, I beg your pardon. Shakarao Haruna orders rally support uh, for Atiku. Slam Tinubu over fitness video. I mean, I'm sure you saw that video that made the round, really. Uh, the People's Democratic Party crisis will be over, says ex BOT chair. It does stakeholders call for. T calls for. But Dane Sarkin, find out which of them. And we find another header that's very bold. Despite global volatility, Nigeria's stock market appreciated by 4.15 trillion naira in nine months. Investors move to take advantage of high yields and fixed e income securities. These are the headlines you find this morning on a Disney newspaper. All right, and uh, we have more stories, um, you know, but Mercy, the... <laughs> anyway, uh, the, the next one on the nation in, is the nation. We have um, a picture of uh, the women rally right there at the Mobolaji Johnson uh, uh, Arena or stadium uh, with the Lagos State Governor of Abajide Samolo addressing the crowd. Um, no surpri surprises that the, uh, the nation goes with uh, that story today. Presidency, why Tinubu is, the best, is best for the job, Al Makura. Ex-governor says that Tiku will be Kwankwa, so no match for APC candidates' competence. Uh, there's a picture of Buba Marwa there, the man who I says is the man of the year, if there's anything like that. Um, is a picture with the headline, NDLEA seizes 8.8 uh, .8 billion naira tramadol pills in raid of Lagos mansion. Messi, you said you know it looks familiar. I don't know <laughs> whether Marwa should call you in for questioning. <laughs> All right. A laughing stool, nine ruling... Houses to present one candidate. That's good. Uh, Unilag to get new VC Friday. Uh, I'm not a social media freak, says Kwan Kwasu. Okay, you have to be. Oh, and that's how you win these days. We and rally for Tinubu Shatima Sanwolu in Lagos. Uh, Nigeria others tackling exchange rate crisis, says World Bank. And uh, Gary Gupa set to sell 250 billion shares. That's quite interesting. NGX list quoted. Uh, first quoted power firm tomorrow. That's a quite a landmark one from Nigeria's uh, electricity sector. So we we'll take the thoughts now of our guest, uh, Chris Kennedy, one who is a chartered mediator and conciliator. Uh, Chris Kennedy, let's go to um, the, the the PDP and the situation there, um, as uh, captured by the punch. Uh, they call it PDP crisis. I think they are borrowing a leaf from the Nation newspaper, uh, saying the Board of Trustee is convening as trustees is convening an emergency meeting to rescue Atiku's campaign. Uh, but for me, it seems that Atiku's campaign is the one that is on course compared to the other ones. But there's a song playing in my head right now, or that was playing in my head while Mercy was uh, reading out the headline. I see they pain them, he go they sweet us. I see they sweet us. <laughs> I'm just saying the coffee likes to be dramatic. That Chris, was was. Chris, over to you, please. Yes, um, um, the PDP has to get its act together because it's fully a divided house now. And um, just last weekend on Saturday or thereabout, the 5G PDP governors, as they call themselves now, uh, met again in Enu. Hadunye uh, Sowike, Otom, Sheima Kinde, Okeze Pazun, and of course the host governor, Ifan uh, Yugwai. They met in uh, in Enugu. Uh, which, are, which is a follow-up to the meetings they've been having with Wike uh, in, uh, in Port Harcourt. And definitely, it was, uh, we believe, although there was no press statement after that meeting, but we believe that it has to do with the uh, PDP crisis and the issues surrounding the personality and legitimacy of the uh, PDP national chairman. Don't forget that a few, we, uh, few uh, days back, yes, we came, um, came on national television to make certain ac accusations against the PDP uh, chairman. That was followed um, less than 24 hours or 48 hours later 
with several members of the National Working Committee of the party returning millions of naira, millions and millions of naira to the account of the party, saying that they were not aware of why such money should be um, uh, deposited in their account. And that in itself bring, uh, brought a lot of issues to the already divided PDP. So if the BOT is meeting this week, good enough for them and good for them, they just have to resolve this issue as quickly as they can so that their campaign uh, strategy and their campaign train can continue moving. Don't forget they, they started yesterday uh, in uh, Abel Kota State and uh, most of the chieftains of the party were there. But fortunately, I didn't see any PDP governor from the Southwest. At the, the only governor uh, uh, from the Southwest is uh, supposed to be marking that. I don't think it was there. But I don't know whether other, um, other heavyweight um, the PDP members from the Southwest were there. But the PDP just have to get us out together. Uh, as you rightly mentioned, Kopi, PDP seems to be the only one that seems to have gotten his act together now and started his campaign in, in earnest. Uh, the Labour Party is still putting his act together. The APC, we are supposed to reconstitute their, or constitute their uh, campaign team last week. Uh, unfortunately, they withdrew that, they withdrew that list because of the um, intrigues within the party and a lot of people that were against that uh, list. So uh, until they reconstitute that uh, that committee, they cannot take up. Don't also forget that the presidential candidate of the of the AP is, is currently in the US, uh, in, in London. Uh, if if the video they released last week is anything to go back. So, but I think the good time is here, and uh, we are ready to see how this pans out. Well, uh, Chris, let's look at the. Uh, this day newspaper. It talks about the Rivers APC to APC governor visiting Wiki and embarrassment to our party. I mean, w what's the embarrassment? Does it mean that when it gets to the time of politics or politicking, that you can have uh, a member of a certain political party visiting another political party? Really? I don't know what they are crying about. Wiki has been inviting most of these opposition uh, governors to the state to commission so many projects. I'm sure you must have seen that from the senior president to uh, governors of the opposition party, even from the Labour Party, everywhere he has been doing that. So if the governors uh, of the opposition are visiting him, I don't know where the, the problem is. Uh, but in politics, anything goes. What you have is just a permanent interest, no permanent friends. Your friend today may be your foot tomorrow and, the, and vice versa. So, but they should put their own ass together. The APC in River State is not united. They've been having these infightings right from, I don't know, since when. Don't forget, that was part of what caused them the last election. The problem between Wiki and uh, uh, and some um, members of that, uh, of the APC in River State has been ongoing for a long time now. That uh, one of the former senators um, became, had a camp of his own. Wiki, um, um, Amechi had his own camp. And it has been that intrigue, and that caused them the 20, uh, 2019 election because they didn't even have a candidate, even if they had, they, they couldn't make any. Else. So then they just put their ass together instead of just looking at who is visiting WK or who is not visiting WK. The 2019 election, uh, 2023 election is here, and they should be putting their ass together to see if they can wrestle power from the government house in Court, not just who visits WK. Definitely people who visit WK. And don't forget that BK has got the beautiful pride that everybody wants to marry now from all the parties. The APC have been going to him. P2B was there last week, almost for the fourth or fifth time. Um, PDP members, aggrieved members, uh, and the, and the um, supporters of Atiku have been going to also to him to talk to him. And so his beautiful bride, he has about four other governors with him, and they seem well needed and have focused themselves on what they want to do. So anybody that can be able to uh, get the support of Wiki, it will go a long way in helping the party companies. All right. All right. It, it, that, I hope that it, PDP will get their hands sorted out as quickly as possible. It seems, um, you know, that Port Harcourt has become the second political uh, capital of political tourism in Nigeria, Chris Kenny Wandu. Uh, yes. Exactly. It, it, is, it, it remains to be seen if that will have a, a positive spin off on the um, economy of River State, or rather, it will take something away from the coffers of the state. <laughs> Only time will tell. But exactly. the, 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 um, the travels yeah. of the APC and River State are well documented. Um, I mean, you know, they feel that uh, uh, having gone through what they've gone through, 
uh, under uh, some week, uh, maybe the, the party should show them some sympathy by uh, backing them up. But hey, like you said, it's politics and uh, anything goes. Let's go over to the Guardian newspaper with uh, a look at the situation at the Adoration Ministries in Ugo, Nigeria, a.k.a. Amen, for short is what they call it, with um, the Catholic Sectariat of Nigeria having to come out to clarify uh, newspaper reports that Father, Reverend Father A.G.K. Mbaka uh, had, been, had been very Reverend A.G.K. Mbaka had been uh, sacked as a the, uh, the, the head of that adoration ministry and transferred out elsewhere. Um, there was a ban on this ministry for some time, and when the, the ban was lifted, the faithful uh, returned to have the uh, normal services only for the, the father involved in question, um, Baka, to, to announce to them that he was leaving uh, to go to a monastery. Uh, but the church had to clarify that this was not him being removed that he was going to spend time in solitude and reflection, you know, to allow the Spirit of God to speak to him and enter him so he can be used more and better by God for work to his people. And um, this is all in, <laughs> in follow-up to uh, uh, the episode where he said, Obi is stingy, you know, and won't be president. <laughs> but uh, um, so we hear that the man who was, who was meant to deputize for Mbaka while he's away, Reverend Father Anthony Amandi, when uh, he was announced as the one to be in the stead of Mbaka, he was almost uh, uh, lynched, or some reports say, by the, the crowd. I didn't see any video in, in response to that. But there was a huge crowd that went to Mbaka's house and were, they were saying, um, uh, uh, we say no, we say no. So what are your thoughts on this? Um, another statement I've seen is unverified, but Mbaka has said this in the past. That's why I'm putting it before you now. A statement on a certain page, an Ambra State page, where they said that uh, Mbaka said, uh, if he is a man of God, he's predicting again that Obi will not win. He'll be embarrassed in the election next year, except he's not called of God. So I want you to talk about all these. Obi, you said it all. The one that caught me laughing was uh, uh, so that the spirit of God will enter him. Uh, that got me laughing because I don't know whether the spirit has left him. And I don't know how that can be verified. <laughs> so, yeah, that was paraphrasing, so, by the way. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just, I'm also, <laughs> I'm also just uh, emphasizing what you said. Mm -hmm. But um, the fact remains that from the statement issued by the Catholic Church yesterday, um, which we also received at CKN News, uh, the, the um, Father, 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 Father Mbaka has been sent to a, what I would call solitary confinement, so that for spiritual, uh -huh. for spiritual cleansing, sort of, that's what they are saying. And uh, in no time that he'll be back. So they believe that he needs that place to go able to purge himself or some of the attributes that have been attributed to. Don't forget that Kambaka has become more of a politician rather than a clergy. So he has been getting himself involved in all politics, all sorts of politics. Don't, was, don't forget uh, his activities in 2015, his activities in 2019, where he was uh, practically conversing for the first day for the person of uh, President Muhammad Buhari, even 20, 20, uh, 2019. So the Catholic just felt that it's becoming very embarrassing. And some of his utterances uh, uh, to them is becoming very embarrassing. And that was why the Adoration Center was suspended for some time. Now there's supposed to be somebody that will be advising for it. What we need to know is that Adoration Ministry of Grant has not been to Reverend Padam Baka. It belongs to the Catholic. And if you, for me, if you cannot stand the smoke, then don't leave the kitchen. So if the Catholic feels that he's not doing what is that, he feels that they're not giving him the opportunity to do what he did, he can just leave the Catholic Church and go and set up his own ministry. And from there, he can talk to his, uh, uh, his converts that but, across. Yeah, but Chris, 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 Chris Kane, they wanted, they, sorry to interrupt you. They, you remember there was, a, there was another father from Abbey Estate who had something like this with the Catholic Church and left the church when they, they gave him some... some Problem, or they try to fix to discipline him. Is it, is it, is it, it's not only one that some that said I want to get married and that yeah. they cannot stay hold the team. Mm. They can't hold their team. Yeah, want but, to have but, wives. And they left. <laughs> I'm sure you remember those ones. Yeah, uh, but but this so, particular one from Abia State, um, his his ministry uh, died a natural death. You know. Uh, that one, no. Well, yeah, that one. That night. What, what, what Chris? Yes, but, Go ahead. Yes, no. Uh, I, I've said it that the fact is that if he feels he's not getting the necessary support that he needs from. Catholic Church. Don't forget the Catholic Church is a very conservative uh, uh, ministry. It's just like the Anglican Church and some of these are Orthodox Church. It's not like the Pentecostal churches where you see pastors um, shouting and saying all sorts of predicting. 
Catholic Church, Anglican Church, those Orthodox Church have a way of going about their things without necessarily getting involved in politics. If you want to go into politics, there are so many things you can they, you don't have to be seen geos that have been making predictions, that have been asking people to come for anointing and the rest of them. That is not the way of Catholic Church. And I believe that what they are doing for Reverend Bacchus is giving me a, a, a soft landing. Probably within the period is in, in monastery, maybe he would decide to say, I want to go it alone and decide to leave at this thing. But he, after that, he, he, he tends to come back. He should come back and be very, very and focus on what he Don't, if you If you see some of the things videos he have posted in the he said he talked about P2B specifically. He talked about something governors. He talked about uh, my own governor, even uh, the governor of Imo State. Then you remember what he said about him, and so many other things. And this have brought a lot of. That you don't have only APC members or PDP members in those. Areas. Oh, that church, that that ministry comprises of so many people from different political parties. So it's, it should be like a leader and like a, a royal father. Who have so many subjects? So coming to bring yourself into the arena, as we say in law, is not good for the ministry. So I think the Catholic Church is doing the right thing. All right, we we, we have to go um, because of time. Uh, Chris Kenyawando, thank you so much for it. I will watch to see what happens. Uh, I suspect maybe you're a Catholic and you have a lot of information about, uh, you know, the fact that the church doesn't anointing oil and all these things that probably you see <laughs> at the adoration ground. Um, it, it's quite interesting. No. Yes, yes, yes. It's quite interesting to okay. see. Okay. Yeah. So if you know, push a catch a from my pocket. I'm no, no, no. Okay, all right. I, 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 I know some of the adulteries. It is, it's, 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 it's expected. We, well, Chris, we have to go. We have to go. Thank you so much for being part of the breakfast. We appreciate your time. And we look forward to thank sharing you very more much. of have your nice thoughts uh, next week. Thank you. Have a nice week. Guys. All right, then. Well, that's the size of it. On Off the Press, we take a breakdown. But just before then, let's tell you what happened today in history. Please stay with us.